okay uh, in this video i'll explain uh, regarding the osha regulations so these are very important uh, see apart from detailing if you want to contain modeling uh, you must know the osha regulations so that uh, uh, it becomes handy in doing uh, modeling in tecla structures so first of all uh, osha stands for occupational safety and health administration so the main requirement is uh, it helps in erection safety uh, design safety joist safety uh, staircase safety ladder safety okay and uh, so so the, so as per the AAC standards american standards and osha regulations you have a lot of things to keep in mind but uh, I would like to explain only a few things uh, with ha uh, so that uh, it becomes uh, easy and simple to understand. So these are the different things you must keep in mind uh, by in washer regulations. One is base plate, column regarding columns, beams, deck, joist, bracings, uh, snagging hazard, rollover protection, critical lift, tripping hazards, erection aids and sequence. So these are the dif different things we have in OSHA. And, uh, but uh, you, you can just follow a few things like base plate, column, beam, deck, joist. Uh, so th these are the important things you must keep in mind uh, so that it becomes simpler. So first thing is base plate. So as per OSHA regulations, uh, the minimum four holes uh, we must provide are four anchor rods we must uh, provide. And um, holes in the base plate must be oversized for structural stability and adjustment purpose. So you can so as you know that uh, holes in the base plate must be oversized uh, just for the structural stability purpose and also we must mention the leveling device and the leveling method uh, what what we are following uh, for the particular situation and uh, and most important thing is if base plate exceeds 24 inches uh, we need to provide uh, one grout hole. So these are, these are the different things you must keep in mind while uh, uh, doing a base plate uh, model. Okay. And next important thing is column. So in column, whenever you are detailing, uh, in model, you, you don't detail any orientation mark or face direction, anything. But uh, while you are doing detailing, uh, definitely we must uh, mention the orientation mark and face direction so the face direction may be south or east and the orientation mark must be at the bottom left this is the most important thing you must keep in mind the orientation mark must be always at the bottom left and uh, and also moreover uh, you, you must provide the protection holes so the protection holes will be at uh, one feet nine inches from uh, FFE so FFE stands for finished floor elevation keep in mind FFE stands for finished floor elevation so see as per this uh, you must remember few standard uh, abbreviations uh, so so that they'll be handy in all in, in understanding this so the column must have uh, production holes one at uh, one feet nine inches and one at uh, three feet six inches from finished floor elevation uh, so these are uh, safe production holes these production holes are provided on every floor okay and uh, column supply should be of four feet from finished floor elevation so that the erection and safety so what do you mean by column supplies so whenever we are going to attach uh, whenever we are going for a high rate structure uh, if you want to attach to a column one above the other we go for column supplies so so that the column supply should be of a four feet from finished floor elevation. The meaning is uh, the second floor, whenever you're going for column supplies, uh, the height from the other floor must be four feet so that he can do the column supplies arrangement and all. So all columns should have lifting holes. If it is a splice connection, normally lifting hole diameter is two inches and uh, bolt column splice is preferred than welding so in uh, columns whenever we are doing any splice connection uh, it is always preferred to go for bolting connection uh, uh, rather than welding because welding at uh, higher heights is difficult and uh, carrying the machine to higher heights is somewhat difficult and uh, most probably the column height is a maximum 40 feet uh, if it is more than uh, 40 feet, you must uh, consult uh, 
uh, once again we must consult the uh, client so this is the most important thing uh, use extender share play type of uh, connection when bold access is blocked by the flange so these are the few uh, requirements uh, we have seen for for columns and now we are into, into the beams so in beams minimum two bolts or two holes required at each end of the beam for erecting or bolts should cross give to value and uh, another thing is all the double angle connections column web or beam web must be staggered clip or top flange angle so in this diagram we can see it is the staggered clip uh, angle connection here uh, so in all the double angle connections like column web or beam web it must be staggered clip connection so this is the example of uh, the staggered clip connection and uh, so now the other one is deck uh, the the proper support to be provided below the deck when there is any cuts or openings in the deck and the deck support may be required at the at deck cutouts near beam to beam or beam to column connections and uh, the third one is uh, the joist so joist uh, the vertical stabilizer plate need to be provided and this plate should be minimum 6 inches to 6 inches and located 3 inches below the bottom of joist with 13 by 16 inch hole to provide an attachment or pumping cable and so moreover if joint joist space if joist span is more than 40 feet and it should be provided with two erection bolts so these are the few regulations as uh, for joist we must keep in mind and uh, so this is a simple example showing uh, so these are called the joist so see here we can see it is called joist and it is called uh, beam and these are the column and uh, see these are the simple uh, a way to differentiate beam and the joist so joist are small in cross section arranged in numerous number beams have large cross section used in few numbers a joist are the minor structural elements so beams are major structural elements so joists are supported by beams and beams are supported by vertical elements either it may be columns or walls or pillar or foundation so joists are supported by beams but, but beams are supported by columns walls and uh, pillars foundations etc so and also joists are closely arranged and beams are spaced larger than the joists so these are the important uh, differences between the joists and beams so finally uh, these are the important uh, washer regulations you must keep in mind so once again, once again i'll come uh, so in base plate once again i just revise it in base plate minimum we must go for four holes or four anchor rods and if base plate exceeds for 24 inches we need to provide one grout holes so as far as the column is concerned orientation mark and face direction is very much important and you must go for protection holes one at one feet nine inches and other at three feet six inches from finished floor elevation and um, as far as the column splice is concerned column splice should be four feet from finished floor elevation so for erect for easy erection and safety and also columns must have the lifting holes and lifting holes is of about uh, two inches in diameter and uh, bolting column splice connection is preferred than welding and most probably the column height preferred is maximum 40 feet and uh, so these are the important things to column and if you go to beams minimum two bolts or two holes required at each end of the beam for erection our bolts should cross d to value and also we can see all the double angle connection column wave or beam wave must be staggered clip or uh, fla or top flange clip connection so this is the example of staggered clip connection we can see both are in different directions and uh, now we go for deck uh, proper support to be provided below the deck when there is any curves or opening in the deck so deck support may be required in the deck cutouts near the beam to beam or beam to column connections and also the joist means uh, is a joist it must be provide the vertical stability plate need to be provided this plate should be minimum six inches to six inches 
and located three inches below the bottom of joist with 13 by 16 inch hole to be provided and attachment or pumping cables so these are the important things you must keep in mind for osha osha regulations